Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Maddie Lullaby and today I'm doing a Photoshop tutorial with you all. I'm doing some basic photo retouching. Um, so this is what we got up to last time. I'll link part one down below if you missed out. Um, in this video we did some basic corrections in Camera Raw. We did the majority of our corrections in that video. Um, so make sure to check it out. In this video we are going to end up with this as our final product. Um, I go through how to fix the background. I also go through some basic like uh, facial corrections, like smoothing the skin, getting rid of wrinkles, giving some like contouring, getting rid of this yellow arm that looks so stupid. I can't believe why do I have a yellow arm even? I don't get it. <laughs> so stay tuned and I hope you guys like it. So first of all, this image, I mean, obviously I'm going to get rid of this. <laughs> Um, so maybe we should get rid of that first. So I'm going to duplicate this layer, which is right click on it. Say so duplicate layer. Yes, thank you. And then I want to crop it. So using my rule of thirds, um, I think it's up here if you don't have it, rule of thirds. You click on your crop, click on your rule of thirds. There it is. Um, you can actually see that I'm pretty centered, but let's make me a little bit more centered. I just want my head exactly in the middle. <laughs> There we go. Cool. And then let's. This is a cool trick for flattening um, backdrops. So I'm going to layer by copy. And I'm just in, um, what's this tool? The rectangular marquee tool. And then you click on this one, your move tool, and you stretch this out. Very nice. Very nice. Might even stretch out those little bits there. There we go. Oh, very nice. And then you can see, you can, um, can you see this like line? You can see that, I mean, that's not connecting properly. So, oops. Um, you can go down here. You select on this layer that you just created, which is the layer you stretched out for the background. <laughs> I feel like I'm like just doing things and not explaining them. So I'm sorry, this is new for me. So you click on this layer and then you click add layer mask, which gives you a layer mask. And then um, go to your brush tool, select a black brush. Um, just selecting the appropriate brush right now. And then you sort of just fade this out. So you, yeah, you want it. You want the hardness to be zero on your brush. To get up this little menu, you right click with your brush tool on the image. Um, I made it fairly large so I can see what I'm doing. If this little circle, um, like selection tool, isn't there, it's because you have caps on. So if I press my caps right now, it goes away. If I press caps again, it comes back. Um, I cannot tell you how annoying that was for me. <laughs> when um, I didn't know what was happening and I couldn't see my selection but yeah so there we go that looks pretty good um, and if you want to know exactly what you've painted um, just select the backslash key and this shows you what you've painted so yeah that was exactly over that line that I hated hated that line alright so if you want to do a composite layer first of all create a new layer and you select that one there. I've already made one. And then you select Control or Command, Shift, and then Option or Alt, and then E. And then that creates a composite layer. So that's basically taken all of these layers and made a flattened one above them all. So that you still have these ones and they're not flattened, but you have that one there. Hope that makes sense. To retouch my face, we go into my face. And you can see that I have laughter lines, and I mean, mm. <laughs> I, I've been struggling with them lately. I'm just like, ah, oh, why is this happening? I don't want to get old. <laughs> I'm still young. So anyway, I was taking the patch tool, which is right here, and I've selected around my problem area of this photo. And then you can just bring down to like, I always bring down to the cheek because this is like nice smooth skin and then I release and then that gets rid of it. But um, unfortunately it's made it a bit dark. Anyway, we'll f we can fix that later. So now let's take this one, 
mask around here. This is also good for getting rid of, um, you know, bags under your eyes. Also, guys, I feel like I have extra wrinkles at this young age because I live in Australia and we live under the hole in the ozone layer and the number one cause of wrinkles is the sun and we live in the hole in the ozone layer where the sun gets us so I mean it's not my fault that I have wrinkles and that's why I get rid of them <laughs> and I try and wear a lot of sunscreen too okay so that's at a hundred percent and I look like a crazy crazy Barbie doll right now like that's not normal so basically, once you've done that, you take the opacity of this layer down and you soften the wrinkles. You don't get rid of them, but you just soften them. So I think 50% is fine. Um, that's what they look like before. That's what they look like now. I think this is a reason why I haven't done any retouching videos yet either. And also the reason why I've chosen myself to do my first video. <laughs> because no one wants to look at what the photographer or editor did to their face to make them look good in the photo. Do you know what I mean? Like, I would feel horrible if anyone that I've taken photos of saw the original because it just doesn't look the same. Like, this is an art form to retouch. And, like, I mean, if I saw these before and afters, I would be horrified. Like... But, like, as I'm a photographer and an editor, I get what's happening, I understand the process, so, like, I'm not horrified. Like, this is fine. I don't mind the rest of my face right now. I don't really see any pimples or anything like that. Let's create a new composite layer. There we go. Um, I'll show you what you would do if you had pimples. So, go to this tool here. This is the Spot Healing Brush. And on a new layer, because that one's at 50%, so it won't cover the blemishes. This is a new one, a um, new composite layer on 100%. And see this little one right here? Let's get this one. There you go, now it's gone. So you just click around on it, um, use the square bracket keys to make them this brush bigger or smaller if you're into keyboard shortcuts. Um, I mean, I could get rid of this little freckle here. Um, I don't think there's that much wrong with my face in this photo. Luckily, <laughs> this tool, you can even run it along lines and like obscure hairs that are coming out of your head and it, sh it should get rid of them like so. Just sort of click around. I mean, there's really not that much. I don't think there's oh, my bra showing there. That's bad, but I, I'm not going to get rid of that in this photo. I could get rid of this little scratch that I have on my arm. That was from a rabbit when I was little. Fun fact. Um, I could get rid of some more wrinkly lines around my eyes. I mean, it just means I'm a happy person, doesn't it? The smile lines. It's nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> okay. Alright, so now we've done all the steps. I've noticed that I have some lipstick on my teeth, which is really annoying, but I don't want to, like, go into correcting that because I don't really care that much. And, um, it's just going to make the video too long. So anyway... Let's do some digital contouring. We're going to make a 50% gray layer and we're going to dodge and burn. Um, I'll show you what that means in a second. So make a new layer. Go to edit, fill. And then you are going to press 50% gray. And I think that's it. And then you need to change the blend mode of this layer to overlay and there you have it there's your 50 percent gray layer that you cannot see what's good about making this you could either like directly apply your dodging and burning onto the image but if you do that you can't go back you can't save the image if you accidentally ruin it or do something too dark um, doing a non-destructible layer mask is a lot better for editing your images. Burning means making it darker. Dodging means making it lighter. So to burn your image, I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger. And basically you just paint on where you would want bits to be darker. I generally go around my cheeks. Um, I generally go right here along the jawline. Um, cheeks again, make sure they're even. Um, you can even do like a little bit of nose contouring if you want to define the nose a bit more. I mean, that might be too much for me. I don't really like that. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of that. Um, okay. 
Okay, and then I like to go around the eyes, just the tops of the eyes to give a bit more shadow. Like I have a bit darker eyeshadow on. And then a little bit in the eyebrows, maybe. Might look okay. Oh, for me that's too dark as well. I'm just not a dark eyebrows person. But, I mean, this bit's a bit patchy. Um, that bit's a bit patchy. This bit's a bit patchy. That looks a bit better. Cool. And then, what else can you do? You could go around, like, your eyes here. If you wanted to get really detailed. I think that looks pretty cool. It makes your eyes pop a little bit more. Just around these, like, rings. My eyes look green in this photo, too. I love it so much. Cool. Um, what else would I contour? Probably not anything else. Sorry for scrolling past my boobs. I find them a bit offensive. They're a bit too out there, you know. <laughs> I'm not used to it. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Okay, so this is what I mean by non-destructible editing. So now that we've made this, we can adjust it to our taste. So if we wanted to make it 50% we could um, see you can see the difference there so that's it with no um, dodging and burning this is it with some dodging and burning I mean it definitely fills in my eyebrows that looks a lot better um, and then you can just slide up to see how dark you want it uh, I think that dark is good for me yep and then we can keep going ahead you can make a new layer um, for your highlights I'm just going to keep going because I feel safe with this opacity number. I think it will be fine. Um, and then I'm going to go around the dark circles of my eyes. A little bit of apples of my cheeks. Oh, that kind of looks a bit funny though, doesn't it? Okay, I don't like it. Alright. I am going to make a new 50% grey layer. But I already have actions for it. So I'm just going to play it. <laughs> and then I'm going to do this again. Nice. Okay. Um. How much do I want it? Yep, probably about there. I think. Yep. Cool. That looks pretty good. Oh, let's do a before and after, so I can show you. I can show you what we've done so far. So that's that was before. That's what we started with. This is after. Oh. I'm just not used to my eyebrows being so filled in. I know eyebrows are like a thing at the moment. <laughs> I just don't get it. <laughs> my face, it looks funny to me. Oh, I don't know. I think something looks a bit off, doesn't it? Maybe it's this. Maybe I don't like the highlight. Maybe I don't like this. Okay, I'm bringing this down. So this is what you can do, if you do non-destructible editing, you can just keep adjusting and making sure you don't ruin it. Like, something that I learnt at uni is that you shouldn't overdo anything, like when you make an adjustment, you should always bring back the opacity, like never leave it on 100. Like, it just doesn't, especially on skin, like you can really change the look of someone if you do too much. I think that's looking a lot better. Okay, that's looking a lot better. Good. I'm happy. I'm pleased. Okay, so this is my driving, um, so it's very brown. <laughs> Maybe I want to make that less brown. Um, just adjust this color a little bit. And then I press, you go... Um, command or control I which inverts the image and then you can press B to open up your brush make sure you don't have caps lock on so you can see the brush head make sure that you are on your white brush right here the quick tool for that is X on the keyboard and you can paint over your farmer's arm to make it less tan <laughs> um, this is obviously not a very good selection See all the bits. That was the backslash key so that I can see my mask. What's happening? Okay, that's better. Backslash key again to get rid of that. Um, now obviously that looks a bit too blue, but I made it blue to offset the yellow. 
So what we do now is we just bring it down and that gets rid of the blue, like the really intense blue look and then softens it. Uh, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? How did I even get that yellow on my arm? That's so weird. <laughs> now the only other thing I would do to this image to finish it off is change the background to like a different color um, or even a different background. You could even get that creative if you wanted to. You know what? I'm going to leave the background because this is meant to be a basic video and I think I've already gone into some kind of advanced techniques, especially with facial editing. Um, the only other thing that I will show you is how to brighten the eyes a little bit. I see a lot of people do this and I think um, some people just go a bit overboard with it. So I just want to show you how to do it very subtly because whenever you brighten the eyes, you want it to be very subtle. Um, it looks so strange when people over brighten eyes. Like, I mean, if you like that look, go for it. I don't like it though. So I'm going to brighten the eyes a little bit. What I generally do is I press this um, layer adjustment, which is the curves adjustment layer. And then I bring up just this middle this middle bit just a tiny bit from so like that's the straight line right here and if you want to bring up it a tiny bit just go in the middle and bring it up a tiny bit that looks good I have dark parts around my eyes so you can slide this a little bit oh I don't know how much maybe just one see the input one okay that's good control or command I to invert that selection makes it black then you use your brush tool press B on the keyboard use your bracket key to make it smaller and fit the eyeball and then make sure you're on white which you are and then brush over it just the inner eye there we go um, I'm even going to um, get the black back which is X on the keyboard or you can press this tool right here um, and then I'm going to just X over just to make sure I didn't go too far out of the range if you want to see exactly where you painted press the backslash key again on your keyboard and you can see exactly where your mask is where you're brightening generally you want to make this lower area of the eye a bit brighter I might even do these little spots just to enhance the spot. There we go. Very nice. I think that looks really good actually. And you can see how that's made a difference. Um, and then that's probably too much, but we won't know until we fit on screen with our zoom. And yep, it looks like I'm a crazy robot. So <laughs> let's definitely bring that opacity down. Okay, maybe 36. I think 36 is a good place. This eye actually looks brighter than this eye. Can you guys tell? So in that case, I'm going to duplicate this curves layer. Yep. Backslash so I can see. Um, then I'm going to paint over this. Wrong color. There we go. Get rid of that adjustment. Just leave this adjustment. Um, and you can tell that's brightened it. might even um, just go around these bits because I think these bits were a bit too bright. Okay, cool. Yep. Yep, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? That looks more even. Although, maybe this part is a little brighter than this part now. It's all a balancing game. And then it's just the whites that I'm bringing out a little bit more um, to prove that. There you go. That's the selection. So, I think that looks better. Yes. I mean, it's just a slight adjustment, like a really slight adjustment. But these are the kind of things I pick up. There we go. That looks really good to me. I reckon I'm happy with that image. I'm going to save it now. There it is. Oh, we can open it. We can have a little look at it. Oh, how beautiful. So nice. There we go. Yes, I'm definitely happy with that. That's just like some basic editing. Um, let's go back and just compare it between. We'll compare it between this one and this one since they're kind of similar. 
There we go. See, like, that's a lot nicer. And it's just, like, basic editing. It's just simple. You just make your image pop. You get used to the tools. Um, for a lot of my images, this is all I do. This is a really good starting point as well if you want to run it through, like, a visco filter or um, some other editing software. You don't have to worry about adjusting any of the tones and things like that. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope I gave you some good tips. Subscribe if you want more. Turn my notifications on if you don't want to miss anything. Uh, like the video. Do all the stuff that, you know, YouTubers normally ask you to do. <laughs> and I'll see you again next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!